Hi everyone. So in this video I'm going to be talking about this experience within myself and I'll do some self-forgiveness at the end um, as a support for others um, to hear some sounding of self-forgiveness. So, so opening up this point within me it starts with with a starting point, this question. If I do become a, she a chef or a baker, who am I in that moment? Who am I in that hypothetical example? So if I become a chef or baker, what comes up within me first is the ex experience of, of guilt, of shame, of embarrassment, of feeling like I'm, I'm not doing anything with, with my life. These are the words within me. It's like, I'm wasting my time. This is meaningless, purposeless. You're just making food for people. This is nothing. Almost anything else would be better than this. You will make little money. Life will be hard. You're throwing away your bachelor's degree in psychology. Do you know how lucky you are to have a bachelor's degree? Do you know how many people will kill for your opportunity? And you're just throwing it away. You could make so much money in this life if you apply yourself. Don't make the same mistake as me. So these are the words within me. The actual words, like the programming, the, the programming language. Um, so throughout my years of writing, I've been able to access this quite easily now. So this is what I wrote out. So within this, looking deeper, um, what are the what are the points within this? What what is the actual spe specific points uh, that makes up this experience? So here I found three points. So the first point was the fear of becoming poor. If you look at my words, it will say it says, "You will make little money. Life will be hard." So within that, there's a fear of being in poverty, and the reality is. Um, okay, so with that fear, I grounded it by looking at, okay, what's the actual situation with, with being a chef? What's my life right now? You know, what would be the money situation? Right now I have support. Right now I can take the risk. Uh, it is a risk because, yeah, I can go for become, being a chef or baker. And there's a risk where, yeah, it might not work out or whatever it may be. That's always possible, yeah. But, you know, there's a potential there and I have support there where it can develop and I'll grow within that. And the starting point is enough to to live. You know, it's not like a below poverty line. It's right at poverty line, but that's where you start out. And then, of course, that's the beginning. And right now I have support. It's not like I don't have any support. So that's my reality. So there is a risk, but it's not like I will actually go through um, poverty or whatever. That's not my situation right now. So that's the reality. So my fear is about a reality that doesn't exist right here and an actual relative, in actual real, real term um, measurements of my reality. Um, it's not really that bad. It's possible for sure. It's very possible. Um, there's not like or like a huge risk, a good chance like I'll be and struggling by myself in poverty. That's not my situation right now. So that's the reality, right? Grounding in the terms, okay, of my life, what's actually in the real situation right now? Instead of living within the sphere. Okay. So the second uh, dimension, because remember I mentioned there are three, uh, within my words were the desire to have a status, to have a title, in the system to have a respect in the system and that came with this point of of having a bachelor's degree um, because I can see that within me that having like being a professional having a, a fixed degree which warrants respect meaning if I have that people I expect people will respect me in the system um, so I have that desire so that is within me so that's another point within this in relation to whole thing where feels like I'm throwing it away, where um, it's a mistake, 
me oh here it was a point of meaninglessness, purposelessness. So I would find meaning and purpose within having a title like let's say a psychologist. It's like I have a title a status. Or whatever professional. But when I look at becoming a chef or baker, it's like my initial belief is that there's no title, there's no respect in the system, there's nothing. Now, okay, let's ground in reality terms too. In reality terms, that's just, I believe I have, because each person will have a different idea about, let's say, psychologists or a, a person in the system, whatever. What that even means, that's an idea, it's a belief. The same thing with being a chef or baker, there's a belief and idea about what that is as well. So all this is just an opinion, really. And the desire is just, it's based on opinion, which that's just, they're based on illusion then, because an opinion is not something real, it's not fixed, it's not actually something that I can have, you know, or own. It's just an idea. So that's not, not really your, it's not anything <laughs> that a that desire, desire for nothing. <laughs> okay. So the third point is this idea of being in debt to people who are in poverty, to people who are, or let's say, poor. And this, um, this word on words came from as um, you can make so much money if you apply yourself. Do um, you know how many people kill for your opportunity? You're just throwing it away. There, there, there's like a guilt, like in the shame, like, okay, I should be making so much more money because I can make it. Now, for me, grounding this meant, okay, my life, right? So here is the statement, my life doesn't belong to any other person. It doesn't belong to you. It doesn't belong to him or her. Or my parents, or my friends, or my family, or anyone else in the world, the whole entire world, my life belongs to me. And so that is my responsibility. So I do not owe anyone anything. That I'm the one who gets to decide who I am and what I do with my life. So this idea of out of guilt to like live for another person, when it is the truth that my life doesn't belong to that person or any other person, then for me it's like this point where I remember in the movie uh, Good Will Hunting with with Matt Damon and Robin Williams that there's a point in the movie where the best friend was telling Matt Damon that you owe it to everyone to make a lot of money, to use your smarts, to make a lot of money. And for me, that's the same point there where it's a belief that I need to make a lot of money because I can, and I owe it to everyone. I owe it to a lot of people because they can't have it. I mean, when I look back at my life, the truth is that I studied a lot. I put a lot of work, a lot of effort into school. I made that choice and decision. It wasn't luck. There was an element of luck, sure, in just even having the chance to do this. But with everyone else around me, you know, who was equally there to do the work, I'm the one who did the work and showed up and made the sacrifice. I didn't have any friends. I didn't um, do any sports or anything else. It was just always school, getting straight A's, which I did. I got straight A's. Um, I didn't go to parties. I just did my work, came home, had my fun for like an hour or so, did my homework, and then started the next day again. And that's what I did. That was my sacrifice. And I'm the one who made that decision. So that is my life. And that, that, that decision was my parents' decision. It wasn't my friend's decision. It wasn't anyone else's, anyone else's decision in the world but mine. So again, my life belongs to me. I've made it what it is so far in terms of my effort, in terms of what I've sacrificed, what I've done. So idea like if I'm throwing away my bachelor's degree, well the thing is that I'm the one who made the effort to make it. So I can throw it away if I want to, because it's my life. And it is my creation, you know. 
Um, so I mean, yeah, understand that there are people who are who are unfortunate situations, which there are many, which is about like sixty percent of the population on the earth who are stuck. Um, but the thing is to 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 in reaction to that. Because here is this point here. With when this idea of being in debt to people who are poor, it's like as if this this person in my head is saying like, Okay, Yogan, you need to live a good life for yourself. You need to make a lot of money for yourself. You need to be well off and live the life that no one else can get to live, basically. Which in this terms it means to make a lot of money. That's what the idea is. So that's uh, the whole program here. It's like you need to make a lot of money, basically. And there's all these different reasons why: fear of being poor, um, desire to like have status in the system, and because you owe it to people who aren't able, aren't aren't able to make a lot of money. So these are all the points that come up when I consider becoming a chef or baker. Which is very interesting because this has nothing to do with being a chef or baking, really. Um, so, removing all of this, removing all this emotion. If you look at the emotion, it's guilt, shame, embarrassment, um, desire, happiness, joy, uh, want, need. Let's do one self forgiveness statement on that. So. I forgive myself for accepting allowing myself to within myself react with embarrassment, shame, uh, and also desire and need um, when I am approached with this point of becoming a shape for baker because within me this point of money activates where uh, it's like my system is designed to grasp or to make money but within me I know that's just a system, that's not me, that's not who I really am. So who am I really beyond that? Because in truth, this isn't what's best for me. Because within that, living within shame, embarrassment, and fear, living within desire and need, living within inferiority, um, feeling a fear of becoming poor, um, feeling like I'm not good enough, That is not best for me. And yeah, <laughs> so I forgive that and release that. So that's all I have right now is that I wrote out for myself and then I was sharing here in this video. For me personally, um, if I didn't have to focus on money whatsoever, I would do cooking and baking, both of those. Um, I would do it for free. <laughs> um, so right now, it is a question about whether I do this, but first, before I can even make really a decision. I need to first release all the emotions involved within this in specific in specificity. Um, so that's what I did here in this video. And on the video here, I'm not having anything else to say right now. <laughs> so bye. <laughs>